former president and deputy chairman of the Security Council of Russia Dmitry Medvedev tours the Ural Vagan Zavid factory in Nizhny Tagil on October 24. 2022 satellite AFP Scanpix Lida International sanctions have failed stop Russia's economy from recovering to near pre-war levels earlier this year. According the latest statistics from the country's Federal State Statistics Service, Western news sources and analysts now accept this. While Vladimir Putin dances on John McCain's bones by declaring that Russia is not a gas station, Presidential economic adviser Maxim Orishkin insists that Europe is hurting more by sanctions against Moscow than Russia itself. But it's not all sunshine and lollipops. With inflation reaching 7.5%, millions of Russians are paying the price for the increase in military production. While there are signs that the economy is overheating, a slowdown, perhaps even a recession, is expected in 2024. Western sanctions sent Russia into recession following invasion of Ukraine in February 2022. But economy recovered at least by some measures and downturn ended just 10 months later in August. According to Center for Macroeconomic Analysis and Short Case Term Estimate, although T's McKay is perhaps not the most objective think tank, Russia's gross domestic product is expected to increase by 5.5% in the third quarter of 2023 and 3.2% in 2020. First 10 months of the year, GDP 2023 was 1.1% higher than in same period 2021. Before full-scale invasion of Ukraine and so-called crippling sanctions of West Russia has outperformed its own Ministry of Economic Development and central banks' forecasts that GDP growth in the spring would not exceed 2%. Now even analysts at Bloomberg Economics say that the increase in 2023 will exceed 3%. This week, Vladimir Putin triumphantly declared that Russia's annual GDP growth will exceed 3.5%. Every smart person should recognize that this is a good indicator for Russian economy, the president explained, adding that only 2% of country's growth comes from resource extraction. The increase in economic output this year is remarkable, but these indicators show that country is recovering from a recession like the one after coronavirus pandemic in 2021. In other words, Russia's growing GDP is not evidence of sustainable development as Putin claims from subsidized recovery to overheated economy Russia's manufacturing output is growing rapidly. But money from the oil and gas industry still accounted for roughly a third of federal budget revenues between January and October 2023. Yes, oil and gas production decreased by 2% and 5% respectively. But this is mainly due to the obligations Russia accepted in its supply cut agreement with OPEC. According to former Central Bank Deputy Governor Sergei Alexashenko, Russia's primitive structure based on oil and natural gas exports actually insulated its economy against international sanctions and he